Hello and welcome to our uh, BMW uh, M3. It is an 0404. Um, for a BMW M3, if I had the money, I'd buy this car myself. I might yet, yeah, anyway, I might find the money because I tell you what, what a lovely car. Wants a little bit of paintwork just on a few stone chips on the front end, but apart from that, it's a tidy car. So, start at this, uh, this corner, near side front wheel. Um, wheels like new in fact i think it is it's absolutely it must have just been refurbed which which begs the question why didn't you do the others because the uh, the rears um are knackered so for want of a better word so they do they does need some wheel uh, wheel attention but to be fair only wheel attention front corner is scuffed on the tire yeah center of the tread there's plenty but it is uh, the shoulders of the tyre are looking a little bit light there for you, just so everyone's aware. Um, down this near side, it's all clean and tidy. Will it have had any paintwork? Yes, it's, a, it's an M3. It will have had some paintwork at some stage. But to be fair, when you look at all the shut lines, you look inside the sills, it's all lovely stuff. So um, this is a very, very nice example of one. So here we go. Uh, wheel corroded all the way around. They all go this way. Uh, once taking off, be blasting and then re lacquering, and then it'll be like new. Um, we've got a couple of tyres for it, which are in the back. So the backs are on skid, uh, are on um, slicks. So the guys provided us with two new rear tyres, so they're in the boot for you. But they are on proper, uh, proper slicks. They might be legal to drive away. Uh, up to you, it's your licence, not mine. Um, but they are thin. So as we go around the back of the car, parking sensors, small scuff. Oh no, it's polish. Polish on the rear bumper, not a scuff. So as we come round it, it's all very, very nice. I can't fault it at all, as I say. If I was going to buy one, I'd be buying this one. It is tidy. Um, you will have to address, there's a bit of a rust bubble there on the rear quarter. So you need to do something with that. Again, uh, wheels heavily corroded on the rear. And then we've got tread skinny on the edge, uh, but that, that one looks uh, better than the other side. As we come down the near side of the car here, again, wheel wants refurbishment, um, a tyre, plenty in the middle, thin on the edge. He's obviously uh, put it through a few corners in its time. So, front end, a little bit chippy, been touched in, but as we come around the front, you would, I think, paint the bonnet just so it's lovely because the rest of the car is um, so you'd pro probably do two wings bonnet and bumper and then um, it's lovely that rear quarter that rust bubble so service history it had as every boffin will ask you its first running in service done on time at 1200 miles 11.99 he couldn't have got it any clearer and then although not with the main agent a very good well documented service history right up to 64,000 miles which was done in March of this year so it doesn't want a service is the good news full complement of handbooks two keys it's got the snapping phone connector there so it's a uh, it's a nice car it drives well clutch operations fine there's no slip memory seats okay Auto headlights, it's done 46,426 miles. It sounds absolutely, just to let me turn that off. Sounds absolutely sweet, of a uh, sweet as a nut, no issue with the Vanos unit. Uh, heated seats, sports button, tire inflation, stability control, that's, and then, um, passenger heated seats um, climate control um, and it's got the uh, obviously BMW head unit in there I don't know if it's got a CD auto changer should we have a look yeah got a CD auto changer it's either in the boot or in the glove box but we've got an auto a six disc auto changer with this car um, so yeah all good stuff um, there we go so happy bidding um, it's a lovely car I don't think you find too many of these knocking around these days so get your bids in nice and early I'll finish off with just one last look from the outside of the car and you can then, with a bit of luck, fall in love with it and bid me lots of money at it. So there we go. 
lovely car. Obviously the winner of this car, uh, feel free to, to uh, copy the pictures off the internet and you can advertise the car before it's even hit your pitch. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.